Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So tomorrow is a big day. You all have your KSET exam starting from tomorrow. So in this video, I'll be discussing some important exam day tips that you must follow. Okay. So this video is divided into two parts. In the first part, I'll be discussing what all things or what all things that you should do to uh, like before entering the exam hall, what things you should take care of. And second is the tips like how to attempt the paper. Okay. So what is the correct way or the approach to attempt the paper to maximize your score? Okay. So let us go to the first part of this video. Things to do before entering the exam hall. Okay. So this is very important. So let us check them. So first is carry your exam essentials. Okay. It is very, very important that you check, recheck the things that you should carry for the exam. In that First, you have to take your admit card or hall ticket. Okay, just take a printout of it if you haven't yet. Take the printout of it and then carry it. Second, valid identity proof. So there are many things that were mentioned in the admit card for your valid identity proof. For example, you can take your Aadhaar card, PAN card, driving license, or if you have your uh, 12th marks, uh, 12th uh, that is the admit card of 12th exam, that is also allowed. So just whatever you feel, just carry it. And then you can use only ballpoint pen, which is blue or black. So carry at least two pens here. Okay, any one color you take, carry two of them. Next, these are the things that you must carry. And these are the things that you should not carry. Like for example, any equipment or electrical gadgets. Do not take any Bluetooth or any mobile uh, or any electronic gadgets like this. And then you are not allowed to wear any kind of wrist watches. Okay, don't like, it's like only electronic watches are not allowed, even the Analog watches are not allowed. So do not carry any kind of wrist watches. Okay, fine. So next, dress comfortably. Okay, so there is a lot of uh, confusions with the dress code. So wear any simple dress which like which doesn't have very heavy pockets, is not very fancy. So just wear normal for boys like normal pant and shirts. For girls, you can go for kutis and leggings or any, any very formal and comfortable dress. Okay. So that you can sit for like one hour and write the exam without like your this dress should not trouble you. Okay. So that is the thing. Next, eat balanced meal. Okay. This is very important. Just, just before going to the exam, like before one hour, have proper meal. Okay. Just uh, don't take any junk food at this point of time. Have a proper meal so that your brain is calm, composed for the exam. Then stay hydrated. So this is very important for concentration. So drink plenty of water. Okay. And then because it improves your concentration and just have proper meals. Okay. Do not go for any heavy oily food. Just avoid them. Okay. Next. Arrive early. This is very important. Very the most important thing. Just one day before or before in the morning. Check your exam center, how far it is from your location. Just plan the route, how to how will you travel there. If you have to book any cabs or anything, do it from before. Just make it ready and just try to reach at least two hours before the scheduled time. Okay, so this is very important so that you are not panicking about reaching the exam center. Once you reach, so there should not be your like whenever you are writing the exam, the complete thing should be very calm and it should be in a composed way. Okay, no hurry, nothing. So reach at least two hours before the exam center. Okay. Now next, avoid last minute cramming. This is also very important. Like while going to the exam center, while reaching the exam center, in the exam center, don't start studying any new things or revising any concepts. Don't, no, no need to do that. You have already done many studies for last one month or last two years. So that is enough for the exam. Whatever this last minute will not help you in any case. So just don't do any um, last minute cramming. So this will only demotivate you. Like if you find some new concept, you will think, okay, I haven't studied this and the mindset will change. Okay. So just avoid whatever you have studied is enough. Do not do any last minute cramming at this point of time. Okay. And next, just believe in your preparation, whatever you have studied, you have given time for this exam. You have done questions. You have revised the concepts. Questions will be coming from those topics only. So just be confident with your preparation. Next, use restroom. So in the exam duration, you will not be allowed to go outside or if, even if it is allowed, you will have some procedure to for it, which can waste your time. So use the washrooms properly before the exam, then enter the exam hall. Okay. Next, stay calm and confident. So this is very important. Just after going to the exam hall, don't talk to the people, who, don't talk to the candidates who are already very anxious or very impatient. So ju just don't talk to anyone. Stay calm, stay focused. 
just focus that you are having exams if you keep quiet and remain you will be able to recollect things okay so just don't engage in any gossips in the exam hall then stay away from negative influences suppose some people are coming some students are coming array we don't have studied anything we don't know anything i don't know i haven't studied this chapter that chapter no need to listen to anything okay so just stay away from all negative things your the most important thing for the exam is the condition of your brain okay so the brain should be completely in a positive mindset okay and it should have a motivation to do well in the exam okay then if you are fe feeling any uh, like anxiety in the exam just take some deep breaths do some swan or two some all uh, meditation you can listen to some calm music just try to relax yourself okay next you have to stay confident as i told you you have already prepared for this much time so exam will definitely will go better will be the best the you will be giving your best but the things for that is you should take care of these all things so that your mind is not getting disturbed at this point of time right okay so these were some seven things that you should do before entering the exam hall okay now you have reached the exam center the time has reached and you have entered the exam hall now what are the things you should do here to maximize your score we'll discuss about those things so tips to follow while attempting the paper okay so any paper can be the score can be improved if it is attempted strategically okay so let us discuss some points here first read the instructions carefully okay this is very important so when you receive the question paper just read the instructions once you already know that you might be knowing you might have written many mock test you might be knowing all the instructions about the exam the marking scheme everything but then also just take 5 minutes and read the instructions once again okay next fill the omr sheet correctly as i discussed there will be you will be giving one omr sheet you have to fill your application number roll number question paper number question booklet code many things you have to fill it so that time you should do it very correctly because once this part is wrong whatever you do in the exam that will not be evaluated right so filling of omr sheet correctly is very very important for your answer sheet to be evaluated and to get your scores right so just do not do any mistake in this and then encircle the bubbles correctly okay this is very important so when you have the bubbles you are, there are some rules you should not tick it you should bubble it complete shed and the shed should not go out of the circle okay so just do it slowly and patiently and one more thing suppose we have this application numbers and all here numbers will be there and here we have bubbles to encircle right so in that case also just check it once before doing okay so for example here it is 1 so you have to bubble 1 here right so just check that properly and do okay take 2 minutes time do it slowly but correctly okay next if you have any doubt okay you are like having some confusion what to fill or what what not to fill don't take any one's help just go to the instructor or invigilator and ask don't talk with your friends because they are also writing the exam for the time with you so they may not be knowing so any confusion please talk to the invigilator they are there to help you they will help you with with, with full support okay no one will scold you nothing so if you do not understand anything how to fill ask them okay go to the invigilator talk to them and then do it so this is the first part that you have to read the instructions carefully now second skim through the question paper so now we have filled the instructions you have omr sheet is done now you have got the question paper you have read the instructions so now what to do with the question paper just give a reading of the question proper from question number 1 to question number 60 read all the questions once to understand the level of the exam like is it very easy exam is it little difficult little moderate exam so don't get panic if it is difficult If it is difficult it is difficult for all the candidates who are writing the exam right next we have allocate the time for each section in the and the question type so now you have seen that uh, for example questions have come from different different sections you can like think okay 30 minutes for this section 20 minutes for this section 10 minutes for this section you can just divide it according to your strength according to your preparation right then ensure all questions are allocated within the uh, attempted within the allocated time so as you know we'll having around 70 minutes for 60 questions so just plan it like first 20 in how many time you want to attempt second 20 how many time you want to attend so just plan it and then start doing the question so when when you these things when you have to do in this before 5 10 minutes when you are reading the question paper just have a plan okay and you have to stick to that plan throughout the exam okay 
so it's like you if you have planned for each question you have to give around one and uh, one minutes or one minute 15 seconds you should not skip that you should not exceed that time limit okay so manage this time plan this time and you have to follow it next manage your time wisely this is very important for each sections at the which i already told you for each sections allocate certain time and this will help you to complete the paper on time okay next start with easy question as i told you um, getting high score one of the major factor is your mindset in the exam how much confident you are while writing the paper so now if you have you always should start with the questions that are easy or which you know now that will keep you positive that will keep you motivated and you will be able to tackle the questions which are even difficult now if you start with the question which you are not uh, like which you don't know and you are just trying to attempt it and you got wrong answers your mindset will be negative in the exam hall and then you will get panic you will not be able to solve even the easiest questions okay so that is why always always start with the easiest question this will help you to build confidence and ensure you to accumulate marks or okay skip strategically this is very very important for time management once you are stuck in any question you are taking three to four minutes you are not able to get the answer the answers are not in the options just leave that question do not exceed any question more than one minute okay so once you are done you are like uh, stuck in any question leave it later you can come and do it okay so leave that question at that moment of time do not get engaged with the question for more time this will eat up the time for the other questions which might have been very easy for you right so this is very important please skip the question learn to skip the questions okay so while my, whichever questions you just leave it just mark it in the question paper so that when you come back you can come back to those questions directly next review the paper so in first one first in first go do all the questions that you are 100% confident now come back to the question paper and see which questions you haven't done in those questions you can try elimination method to find the answers or you can say you can just revise or recollect the concepts and try to do do those questions again okay next attend maximum questions as you know there is no negative marking there is a high chance that you can get more number of score by attempting maximum questions some questions which you don't know that also you can attend by making a logical guess even if you have no idea then also put some question uh, bubble some answers and come maybe the guess comes correct and you get the marks for it okay so since there is no uh, negative marking so my suggestion will be to attempt all questions okay try to attempt all the questions in the given period of time next fill the omr sheet periodically here many students have doubt so many like there are three methods of filling the omr sheet you can do like solving each question and filling the omr sheet solving all 60 questions and then filling the omr sheet at the end and there is one more uh, strategy which i personally suggest and i hope you can also try this it will be helpful just keep solving periodically like just do uh, first 20 questions mark them next 20 questions mark them so in this way at the end there will be no burden that okay i have to mark all the questions okay and bubbling again and again will be like the flow of solving questions will be disturbed so that also won't happen right so since there are 60 questions you can divide like solving first 10 15 questions and then mark them and then do some 20 15 questions and again mark them so just keep marking the answers periodically okay next is very important again stay calm in the exam if you are stuck if you are not able to solve any questions do not worry just go to the next question at the end come back if you have uh, if you are calm and uh, you if you are composed you are, you will be able to think about the solution okay so there is nothing like uh, if you but if you get panic at that point of time you will the answer you will may not be able to think in the correct way okay so please stay calm positive in the exam so these were some things that you should do before entering the exam hall and some tips that you should follow while writing the exam paper okay so only one day is left today please relax just take all the like relaxing techniques revise some important concepts do not panic at all and all the very best for your exam Tr trust your preparation you will be doing better in the exam tomorrow if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe the channel thank you